All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you, just like me. All right, uh, before I get going on this video, the Bridget Kelly Band, these guys are friends of mine. Um, they sent me their latest CD. It's called Winter's Coming. <laughs> it's pretty appropriate. Um, just a really cool blues rock band from Florida. Um, been friends with them for about four or five years now. I started doing the channel and doing research, I found them and they were burning up the uh, blues music charts here in the state of Florida. I don't know if that translates to a lot of albums being sold. Uh, they're road warriors. They're constantly on the road uh, playing your favorite blues dive bar. And uh, Tim Fick, who is the guitarist in this band, could be uh, the best unknown guitarist on planet Earth. Uh, I went to see this band perform live and I was blown away by Tim. Um, Tim is in his own category. You can go watch videos of the Bridget Kelly band. Uh, there's one where they play the Funky Biscuit over in Boca and um, just blow the roof off the place. And I was in a room that's like slightly bigger than the studio I'm in here, which is basically just a, a one room in a house. And um, I got to tell you, I, I heard few guitar players do what Tim did uh, the night I went to see him. So this could be their best album yet. Check out their other material, Bridget Kelly Band. Uh, pretty sure they're over on Facebook because I follow them there. And also uh, their website, BridgetKellyBand.com. Uh, Bridget, very uh, interesting, sultry vocalist who really kind of pours herself into the music. You can see it during the live performances. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's blues rock. There, It's no frills. It's um, basic production value, which uh, at times it's just refreshing to hear. Uh, a rock band basically that plays in a blues style because that's what they are and they're really good uh speaking of really good uh dolly parton <laughs> who is getting inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame feels as though she needs to uh, you know do some rock music so she's planning on a rock album See, I find that interesting because when it was first announced that Dolly was headed for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, a lot of us said, well, I like Dolly. Uh, I'm not sure she belongs in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Certainly she belongs in the Country Music Hall of Fame. And, you know, again, this is the bean counting effort that is going on over at the hall where they need more women. So they've got Dolly, they've got Carly, and they've got Pat, right? Pat Benatar. So Carly Simon, Dolly Parton, Pat Benatar. I think Kate Bush was on that list. Kate Bush might show up again, thanks to, you know, running up that hill. It wouldn't surprise me if like next year it was Kate Bush and she got in. Um, maybe Stranger Things or some other uh, television enterprise will uh, pull in another Kate Bush song because there are quite a few that are um, very interesting. But anyway, getting back to Dolly Parton, apparently she wants to help Led Zeppelin get back together again. <laughs> she says she wants Led Zeppelin to contribute to her cover of Stairway to Heaven, which she plans to record for her upcoming rock album. She says, I'm trying to see if Robert Plant might sing on it. Maybe Jimmy Page might do the pickup part on it. <laughs> Don't forget about John Paul Jones. And look, you got to ask, you know, Jason Bonham to play drums. And then it could be, you know, like, what was that? Paul Rogers and Queen. It could be like Dolly Parton and Led Zeppelin. I mean, look, I know Robert Plant, he just can't grasp the fact that people still would like to hear some Zeppelin, you know, and if it weren't for Robert Plant, I think you would have had a periodic, like every so often, Led Zeppelin reunion. You may have even had new material being 
produced. But Plant, you know, he just thinks to himself, oh, you know, I can't do that stuff anymore. And just, it's old hat. Nobody, nobody wants to hear it. <laughs> Come on. It's just crazy. Anyway, it says here, a collaboration with Parton probably wouldn't be too much of a stretch for Robert Plant, given his collaborations with Alison Krauss. Yes, this is true. Getting Paige, however, might be trickier as he's not released much music in recent years. He apparently even left a call from Ozzy Osbourne unanswered after the Prince of Darkness tried to recruit Paige for his new solo album. My guess is, is Paige is probably just ticked off at everybody. It's like, we've got this great brand and you guys just, well, mostly Robert Plant, just decided to let that brand kind of die off. Now, Led Zeppelin will never die off, but you could have kept it going. And yeah, I know uh, Plant can't do what he used to do vocally. He even says so. But um, that doesn't mean they couldn't make music like, you know, going to California, stuff like that. And with Dolly Parton out there, cheerleading the effort you, you just never know this is a weird combination but we're in an age of weird combinations and some of which you know are just we too weird for me but in this case i would i would um get on board with dolly parton and led zeppelin you know paul rogers and queen <laughs> dolly Parton. although paul rogers and queen isn't as weird as dolly parton and led zeppelin but I believe there would be interest across the board. You'd have the rock fans, you'd have the country fans, and then Dolly would have some legitimate music to say, look, I was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and looky here, I've got some rock and roll. So good for her. You know, if anybody can get, you know, these guys back together again, it would probably be Dolly Parton. So uh, she is just incredible. She keeps going. I did hear that she might be uh, retiring from touring, which would be sad, but she's in her, I think, mid to late 70s. I know she wears really cool wigs, and I think, um, you know, <laughs> it gets maybe even easier to wear a cool wig when you get older. I don't know. I don't know. Her voice, though, sounds great. It's amazing. Uh, she sings on so many different things these days. Um, I know she had a song on Christian radio not too long ago where she did a duet and um, <clears throat> she sounds great. So great. I'm getting choked up about it. So in any event, Dolly Parton and Led Zeppelin, what are your thoughts? Huh? Um, <laughs> that's just a, a real interesting combination. And here's a real interesting album. Bridget Kelly band blues rock. For the hardcore blues rock fan, no frills, just guitar greatness from Tim Fick, vocal wonderment from Bridget Kelly herself, and the rest of these guys, really good rhythm section in this band, and they just kick some serious rear end all over the place. Uh, if you're in Florida and you uh, see these guys coming to a town near you, you will not be disappointed um, just tell them the RMO sent you, right? Just go ahead and see if that helps. Probably not, but, uh, you know, it might make the band chuckle a little bit. Tim Fick, Bridget Kelly, great people. And um, yeah, so that's my video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.